One of the more interesting content distribution models that we've seen accompany the rise of the internet is the rise of so-called open source software. So what is open source software? Sometimes it's as free and open source software. Open source software is a co source code for various types of things that you can find online. And frequently, depending on the license, and there's lots of different open source licenses and you know, too, way too complicated to get into, but frequently the license allows you to use that software frequently as long as you make your own software publicly available for other people to use. So it's kind of fascinating, like somehow we just took the payments completely out of this. This is not, you know, a, mo an, a model that's economically viable in any direct sense. There's no payments being, um, being exchanged here. The best way to think about it from that perspective is maybe kind of a weird form of the bartering system, right? Like I am publishing my own source code in the hopes that other people will also publish source code that's useful to me so I can do my own projects. But at the end of the day, that activity is not going to allow me to buy groceries. So, you know, there's this question of how do we get to this? Because the open source community is big, incredibly vibrant, um, and really successful. So, you know, open source projects like Linux is probably the highest profile one. An example of an entire computer operating system, which is an incredibly complex piece of software built by uh, people volunteering their time. So what are some of the things that makes open source software work? Well, one of the things is that um, compensation is not only monetary. Um, and I think that that's something that we've maybe forgotten a little bit uh, about in, in our age and day and age where people are very, very focused on money. Uh, but mon money is not the only way to compensate somebody for doing something. So for example, if I put an open source project up online and other people use it, that use is itself some form of compensation. So I, I have some open source software online. Um, let me look. Uh, this is one of my packages that I published on a site called um, on a site called sort of uh, NPM, where people publish uh, source code that's written in JavaScript. And so this is a package that I wrote. It's a spell checker that I use in some of my websites. And I can see that in the last month, 355 p uh, uh, downloads of this software have occurred. Um, I think there actually might be an even more popular. I, I wrote a couple of other ones. Let's look at the link check. Maybe the link check does better than this. Uh, Okay, yeah, a little bit better, 643 downloads. And it's not clear that very many people are still using this particular piece of software. Um, but for me, this is kind of gratifying. It means that I've published something, I've put it out there for other people to use, and people have used it. Like someone has actually gone out, downloaded the software, and found it useful um, doing a project um, using this particular framework for building websites. And so that makes me feel good about myself. I don't need to be paid for this. I haven't received a cent for writing this software, but putting it out there in the public domain and allowing other people to use it is itself kind of gratifying. And I want to point out this is part of a system that I used to build my own websites that itself was open source software and that I was able to use and modify and learn about and augment because the source was in the public domain. So there are a lot of interesting, this is a GitHub's page. GitHub is a, a major uh, sort of center for people that are publishing open source code. Um, and I think it's just sort of interesting to think about the business model aspects of open source. There are a lot of people who work on open source projects who do so either in the context of a job where they work for a company. So I have some people, know some people at Bloomberg, and Bloomberg uh, you know, builds software for their own systems, but they've also started to contribute very actively to a lot of open source projects. And that's partly because they get something back from the community. They get to publish you know, some of their stuff. Uh, they get the recognition. They get to improve things. They get to share work that they're doing with other people and see that work happen of an impact outside of their organization. So there's certainly lots of people that are paid uh, to either directly or indirectly contribute or work on open source projects. So that's kind of cool. Um, and you've also seen that just because the software is open source and just because it's free to download something like Linux doesn't mean that you can't build viable economic models around that software. So there are lots of people who make money off of Linux. They make money because they provide support for Linux. They make money because they use Linux to build products that they sell to people or whatever. So there are lots of different economic models that people have built on top of open source software. 
And a lot of those economic models are completely, are completely reasonable and completely in accordance with the open source software uh, sort of principles, right? It's perfectly fine for me to charge you to help you with something, that's okay. Even if the thing that I'm helping you with is free and in the public domain. So I think, you know, open source software is, you know, the, the movement behind this is really exciting, very much enabled by the internet because the internet has allowed people all over the world to collaborate on these types of projects. Um, but a really interesting example of just a different way of doing things, a different, um, a different model where uh, people are clearly, you know, so the, the worry frequently when you uh, think about not compensating people who build things is maybe they'll stop. But in the open source community, you have all these millions of people that are working on these projects, no one's stopping. It doesn't seem to be stopping anybody that they're not being paid. It doesn't seem to be stopping anybody uh, that they can't sell the thing that they're, they're working on. Um, instead, you see a huge, vibrant community that's building software together, learning from each other, uh, using contributions from other people to build you know, more and more interesting things um, where there's no money being exchanged. And I think that's a very, very interesting model uh, and something that we'll continue to see in the future, maybe in certain other areas.